If you want to know how easy it is to pan fry salmon fillet without the skin, this is the recipe for you. So make sure that you watch it entirely in order to get the best results. So I have here two salmon fillets. One is without the skin and one is with the skin on. I'm just going to show you quickly how can you remove the skin in case you buy it with the skin on. Make a small incision in here and then after you get the knife in and you need to go as close as you can to the skin keeping your knife in angle. You just pull the skin against your knife blade and like this you're gonna end up with a nice fillet of salmon without the skin. Now with the two fillets of salmon ready we're gonna get the pan on high heat and if you're not experienced on how to cook salmon into the pan or fish in general I suggest using a non-stick pan. I'm gonna go straight in with the seasoning just a pinch of salt on each fillet and a pinch of freshly grounded black pepper. Now with the pan hot enough, I'm gonna go in with about one tablespoon of veg oil. And you don't really need more than one tablespoon because the salmon is fatty and it will release some of that fat into the pan and you don't want it to float in fat and oil. When you see a light smoke coming off your pan, then you know that you're ready to add the salmon fillets into the pan. Because my salmon is pretty thin, I don't think I need more than three minutes on each side for frying. And after that, we're gonna baste it with a bit of butter. You're gonna know when the salmon is ready to flip over, when you see the edges of the salmon becoming white, is the time when it's probably almost cooked halfway through it. Now, once you flip it, we're gonna go in with two cloves of garlic and two sprigs of thyme. And with the garlic, I've got it here, all you wanna do is just crush it slightly, and it goes in, thyme goes in, and I also have here about 15 grams of butter. Once the butter is melted, you're gonna need a spoon and we're gonna start basting the salmon fillets. By putting hot butter over the fish, this will continue cooking obviously. And in the same time, because we added garlic and thyme, it will also punch some more flavor into it. When you feel that we are approaching the end, I've got here a wedge of lemon and I'm gonna squeeze it over the salmon. Baste one more time. Turn off the heat. Now the butter that's left into the pan, you don't wanna throw that away because it's packed with flavors. And you can turn this into an easy sauce just by adding some chopped dill, parsley, or even chives, or a combination of all these three. If you enjoyed this recipe, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more simple recipes like this. And check this recipe right here, how to make salmon in cream sauce. I'll see you in the next one.